history is under attack again. This time, the victim is former Prime Minister Lord Balfour, or rather a fine portrait of him at Cambridge University. A protester was seen spraying red paint on the artwork before slashing at the canvas. I won't be commenting on the alleged grievance of the perpetrator, as I have absolutely no interest in giving them the oxygen of publicity. This act, despite what you might think of Balfour, is despicable. So, who was Lord Balfour? Lord Balfour, also known as Arthur Balfour, was a prominent British statesman who served as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1902 to 1905. He is best known for the Balfour Declaration of 1917, which expressed British support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people. This declaration had significant implications for the later establishment of the State of Israel. Aside from that, Lord Balfour was a skilled diplomat and played a pivotal role in British foreign policy. He negotiated numerous treaties and agreements, including the Entente Cordiale with France in 1904, which it is argued helped strengthen Britain's position in Europe and paved the way for cooperation during World War I. Although hindsight suggests alliance systems like this were a failure, or even a causation of the war, it would be uncharitable for us to blame Balfour for this. Obviously, being born in 1848, he was a man of his time, and it is reductive to judge historical events by modern standards. With this in mind, Balfour believed in the importance of maintaining and expanding the British Empire. He served as Secretary of State for Scotland and Chief Secretary for Ireland, where he faced challenges related to Irish Home Rule. While his policies were controversial, particularly in Ireland, he was instrumental in preserving British control over key territories, which was his job. On the home front, Balfour was a progressive thinker who supported modernisation and reform in various sectors. In addition to education reform, he championed improvements in public health, social welfare and infrastructure. His government introduced legislation to address urban poverty and improved dire housing conditions in Britain's rapidly expanding cities. Beyond his political achievements, Balfour was a noted intellectual and philosopher. He published works including A Defence of Philosophic Doubt, being an essay on the foundations of belief, which explored themes of epistemology, religion and morality. As with any historical figure, there is much to criticise Balfour for, especially through a modern lens, but destroying works of art at prestigious universities is just wrong whatever your cause. And wrecking an image of a man does not challenge his beliefs or his record, it's just vandalism. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description, or via YouTube Super Thanks. Thanks for watching, bye for now.